uh, PS51 musicians, we're so excited to see you today. I'm Miss Traxler, your music teacher, in case you've forgotten me. This... I'm Violet Indigo. In case you've forgotten me, I wouldn't download it on my app. What's your, what's your real name? Tell them your real name. No, I yeah. dress, I'm a tiny leg and dress up in a costume called Violet Indigo. Cool, okay. but your real name is Lucy Rose Traxler, right? I want to call myself Violet Indigo because I want to be So this is up. Violet Indigo, Lucy Traxler. I'm Jude. And that's my husband. So we are a family of musicians, just like you guys are becoming families of musicians at home during our I'm during our music mu playtime. I'm a so, musician too, because I play nice music. Yeah, we're all musicians. So you have had a week and a half to find some cool found sounds at your house. So you sent me some cool pictures that are in our lesson this week, and Jessie even sent us a really cool video of her jamming. So Jessie, you are the inspiration for our jam session today. So we want to show you some of the things that we found around our house that maybe you hadn't thought of. So let's go with our shakers first. Can you hold up your shaker? What did you find at your house that was a shaker? We found a box of tacks. Give it a shake. What else is a shaker? A plastic container with paper clips and binder clips inside, which makes a really good sound. What else shakes on our rug? Can you guess what's inside of our jar? Coins! Coins! Lots of different coins. We also have... These? Um, these are just rings from... Silver rings from the office. So we have that that shape. And there's beads. Beads inside of a little tiny bowl. Lots of sparkly arts and crafts beads that shake. Oh, and there's one more... Two more things. We found lots of shakers and scrapers. It's a bag what? of metal screws. A bag of metal screws. It has a really high sound. There's one, oh, two more shakers. We have some keys on a keychain that make a really cool metal sound. And some containers with toys inside, little plastic dinosaurs. And we found some puzzle pieces. So we put them inside of old coffee containers. And we have shakers there too. This one's empty, it's gonna be a drum. So those are our shakers. We want you to get your shaker and we want you to play along with us. Are you ready? Everybody grab something that shakes. Grab something that shakes. All right, here we go. Everybody at home, how you make a really loud sound on your. <laughs> mm, yeah! <laughs> so, if you have a card, paper, 
paper tube. <laughs> which is just, this was from some, I don't know, this is really long. I think this was from some wrapping paper. But you can find one on a, on a toilet paper tube or on a paper towel tube, any kind oh, of. Oh, it could be a telescope. It can also be a telescope. But today, it's going to be a musical instrument. What does Jude have? your blowing sound? Very good! You know, if you have a tube, you can also sing into it. Can you try to sing into it? You can make different sounds. <laughs> you can make it go higher and lower. And you'll notice that this bottle has something in it. Water. Water is inside of the bottle. If you have some glass bottles or plastic bottles, if you have glass bottles, make sure that mom and dad or grandma or grandpa or someone is there to play with you. But if you have glass bottles, you can, and plastic bottles, you can put water inside of the bottles and it changes the pitch. It makes it higher and lower. Watch. <laughs> it changes the pitch. Just make sure you pour it over the sink next time. Filling up the water bottle, filling it up, filling it up. Filling it up? I was trying to soak it up. Look at that! Even higher! So those are our instruments that blow. All right. <laughs> now we have instruments that can scrape or be rubbed. Can you find your instrument that can be scraped or can rub? You can rub it. Lucy, can you find something that we can scrape? or rub? Um, What's this? A Lego. We have a Lego and a spoon. A spoon that makes a scrapey sound. We also have a notebook. The spiral rings on the notebook with a chopstick. So that can be scraped as well. We also have a plastic container from a sh from strawberries from a fruit man, and we can scrape that as well because there are ridges on it. And one more thing: Does anybody know what this is? A cheese cutter with hands. When you cut cheese in it, it makes little tiny sugar cheese, and it's called and I call it worm because it looks like tiny little straight worm. So this is a cheese grater. And when you take a block of cheese and you push it across the grater, you have to do this with an adult, little tiny shrivels of cheese that look like worms, right, come out. And you can eat your cheese in little tiny squiggles. So this is a cheese grater and a metal straw. Remember, plastic straws are bad for the environment. So we have metal straws. Also, metal straws just sound better. Yes, they do. So we can scrape. Hey, Do you want to try that one? I can still not see. Oh, sometimes we can see through straws and sometimes we can't. We'll practice later. So can you grab your instrument that rubs or scrapes and let's jam together. Here we go. Now 
now we have one last category. Do you remember what it was? So far we've had shakers, we've had things that you can blow in, and we've had things you can rub or scrape. This next one is our favorite category because it's things that you can... Tap or hit. So you can get out whatever you have that you can tap or hit. Make sure you're hitting on so with something that is not going to cause any damage, like a chopstick or a paintbrush. Those paintbrushes are from Miss Anthony. So we have some paintbrushes, we have some chopsticks, and some really gentle plastic spoons. We have tons of things that you can hit on. Pencils are good too. Oh, and pencils or color pencils, even crayons if it's a box like this. Um, the end of a hairbrush, that can all work too. Lucy, can you show us an instrument on our rugs that you can play by tapping or hitting? Yes. Now, Lucy, I see one bowl. Are there more? Is there more than one bowl that you can hit on? metal mixing bowls from the kitchen. And if the bowl is bigger, tap the big bowl. It makes a low sound. But if the bowl is small, it makes a high sound. And we even have a little teeny tiny one. That goes even higher, so we go low. They make lots of different high and low sounds, so you can actually play a melody on the bowls. What else do you see on our rug that we can play by tapping or hitting? You could very gently tap the end of the glass bottle. You're right. We could also tap, this one is another little metal bowl, but this one's not from the real kitchen. This one's from Lucy's Play Kitchen. And you can hold it. We also have a Kleenex box, an empty Kleenex box. A box with Kleenex will work too, but the empty one has space to resonate or the sound to come out, so it sounds a lot better. So you can tap a Kleenex box. We also could take that strawberry container, right? We also have an empty coffee can. An empty coffee can with a lid. Can you play with the edge of the paintbrush on the lid? That's on the side. Can you also play on the lid? Use this end. A drum, so we can make a little drum. If you turn the coffee can on the opposite side and you play on the metal side, it sounds kind of like the bowls. So depending on what side you want to it on, on, it makes a different sound. Grab your tapping instruments and play along with us. 